Hey guys, this is uh, David with Versatile Ground Blind. Just want to show you a little pinch point situation. This tree fell looks like uh, during the summer. Uh, we got acorn trees all around. We have a little drainage ditch right here. Then a funnel. So what I thought I may do, not committed to it yet, but I found this little situation right here. Just to point out the tree seat. See how it's, I got a tree trunk right here that's about four feet in diameter. It's got a big knot right here. I really wouldn't want to sit on it with my back up against that. So I just shifted it over right here. Just happened to have a sweet gum about four inches from it. But it don't matter. Little back rest just leans. Leans up against anything. Got it set up right here. I would be setting up for about an eight yard shot. Now you say, okay, well, you're out and open. Well, I ain't hunting yet either. So, I mean, I got stuff I could I could brush myself in. I could brush myself in. And I put on my leafy camo, little head net, and my little bow holder right here. I can be willing to bet you that they would come down this hill right here. I've been hunting here long enough to know <laughs> about the deer habits and patterns. They would come right down this little funnel and possibly offer me an eight yard shot right here. I'm pretty deadly at eight yards. <laughs> Not bragging, but I am. Uh, got showing it today with the waterproof backrest. Want to add that it'll come with a shoulder strap. Don't even throw in a couple of tennis balls. The fact is I have, I got a little river bottom right over there. If it gets flooded, I'm subject to hunt in there. But with these tennis balls on there, I've never had an issue. It will not sink in there with these tennis balls. It never has, so you can take them on and off. Most of the time, you don't need them, but it don't bother me. I just decided to just leave them on there. But anyway, versatilegroundblind.com. Visit our website. Thank you very much for your time.